and welcome to the Fertility Conversations podcast. The goal of this podcast is to create more awareness about infertility and to provide support to people trying to conceive. Thank you for listening today, and we hope you will be encouraged. And now, here is your host, Ola. Welcome to episode 12. Today I have with me a lovely guest. Her name is Shayo. She's a fellow infertility warrior. She's married and lives here in Nigeria. She's very active on social media and can be reached on Instagram at Ninja Fertility Hub. Her details would also be in the show notes. So welcome, Shayo, and thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> so to start off, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, there's really nothing much to know. My name is Shia. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to conceive for around four years plus now. Yeah, four years plus. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start a Niger Fertility Hub just to like provide some sort of support mm -hmm. for other people going through what I'm going through. And basically that is it. No, okay. nothing much to me. That's a whole lot because you're reaching a lot of people. You're encouraging a lot of women out there. So that's amazing. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So today, as you oh, know, you. <laughs> today, as you know, we wanted to discuss some of the things that people say to us during this whole journey of waiting to uh, conceive. And of course, we appreciate that many people, uh, friends and family, do not have any ill intentions. So the, the point of them saying these things to us from their perspective is that they're trying to help they're trying to be supportive yep. they're trying to encourage us and we understand that mm -hmm. however many of the statements that are made can be very painful and hurtful and quite upsetting yeah. so we figure that we'll do this episode so that we will let people know that if you have a friend or family and you're trying to encourage them we want to let you know the kind of things not to say and then the things that you can say if you're trying to show support. So we made a list of some things that people have said to us or we've heard other people complain about. So we'll start off with things not to say. And one thing we should say, yeah. actually, firstly, is that if you haven't dealt with something, whatever it is, if you haven't dealt with it, don't give advice. It's always better. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not sure, just say, I'm sorry you're dealing with this. Let's stay away from advice. All right, yep. so Shia has a list and I have my list. So I'm going to start off and say one of the things that people have said to me is, what are you waiting for? You're not getting any oh younger, you know. You know, like... <laughs> and the reality is that when, when, the, when the guy said that to me, I'm just actually strange, it was a guy, because usually it's women that say some of the statements. Yeah. It was a guy that mm -hmm. not, Seriously? Like, what do you expect me to say now? But exactly. What do you I, expect me to say to that? Yeah, what? what's the response? What's the you like, know, can I? What am I supposed to do? I'm getting yeah. older, yeah? Yeah. Like, can yeah. I make a baby? Can I go into the kitchen, bake myself one? No, I can't. So don't ask me what am I waiting for, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you can't want a baby more for, my, for me than I want for myself, right? So... You know, you're not getting any younger. That's not helping me either. So please stay away from that. It's not helping, it's not helping at all. It's not helping anybody at all. Yeah, all so let's not say that. Exactly. Say. Let's not say that. <laughs> let's not say that. Yeah. Let's stay away as well from why didn't you just adopt? You know, let's not do that. Because and the, oh, the reality is there's actually nothing wrong with adoption. Adoption is totally amazing. It's blessed lots of families. It's put lots of children in beautiful homes. You know, it's a great option. But yeah. for someone dealing with infertility, they need to get to that point themselves to decide if they want to adopt. Or exactly. They need right? to get to that, exactly. to to that conclusion by themselves. Them, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that there's no way the person you're saying that to hasn't thought about adoption. 
for sure they thought exactly. about it you know they know that that option is there everything exactly. you're talking about you know everything, everything you want to talk about everything you think they don't yes. know they already probably they've know. thought about it so please don't it. say that an adoption is for everybody it's an option that is open for everybody it doesn't matter if you struggle to conceive or not you can still adopt exactly everybody so can adopt. Like, like, exactly so, so, hey, hey now. yeah so don't like, put it you're, as you're giving me the advice of just adopt or something. exactly like exactly. It's a solution to my problem it's not yes it's something i'm going to have to do by myself adoption is not even like something easy it's not it's not it's not it's not a baby you get at the store and return when exactly. you're no longer comfortable yeah. with it if you're going forward with adoption, it's something you have to want for yourself. Something you have to understand where you're, what you are going into. It's not mm-hmm. it's not as easy as buying a doll at the store and you know just open what the, you, the what the specifications yeah. that come with it is what you want. It's not like that. It's not exactly. So people need to get to that point game. themselves. Yes, By and and again, like that, I said. Yeah. Everybody can adopt. It's an option for every single person. It's not only for people that that are struggling to conceive, right? Everyone can adopt. Everyone can bless a child out there. Everyone's home can be blessed with the baby or a child that has been adopted. But please just don't say this to someone. It's a wonderful thing. Exactly. Exactly. It's wonderful for everybody. And if the person, like, I mean, if I come up to you and say, I'm thinking of adopting, then for sure, you know, get into that conversation with me but if i haven't said that to you don't say that to me as you know your advice of how i fix my current situation so let's just yeah. not let's not do that what about you shaya what have some of the things you've heard said to you uh, i probably had a lot a lot <laughs> but <laughs> The words that stand out to me most is uh, this ones that Nigeria Nigerians love to say, love mm-hmm. to impart that their wisdom. It's oh, you know, your husband is probably going to marry another wife if you don't if you don't give uh, him a baby. You, uh, oh my goodness! Like they, they love they love to say it. It's, it's, it's their own way of impacting this like, wisdom. What is that going to do to you now? It's going to make you run upstairs or run to your room and quickly get that baby right now. Like I mean. How is yeah. that gonna help you? That you in. Exactly. It's not, <laughs> it's not helpful. You are just putting a whole lot of pressure on yeah. whoever it is they are talking to. You, you are adding to. You are piling up on her. You are adding up to her plate. It's not. Yes. It's not helpful. She knows these things. She has probably heard it a million times mm-hmm. before. Well, no thanks to people like you. So mm-hmm. you, you should you, you should not even say that. She knows. She knows. She knows. Yeah. It's, it's probably she, she knows. knows. Just don't 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 even exactly. Just don't even think it's not. And most of the time they wield it like a threat. You know, yeah. like oh, you know, if you can't give your husband a, a child, you know, he's gonna get married to another person. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. So what should I do now? Exactly. And, and even that is an assumption that there's something wrong with you. What if it's with yeah, your husband? Kind of, exactly. How do they know who the problem is with? You know, like, stop making assumptions. It's not only the woman. Men are yeah, equally... You are the problem. Yeah. The and one right one now, one. people say a lot. There's a lot of male factor in fertility. There's lots of men that potentially have issues with fertility as well. You know, so... And even yeah. for many couples, it's both of them. Or, or you know, so don't... Make assumptions. Don't make a yeah. (laughs) You know, yeah. Let's keep your assumptions to yourself. Don't make the Mm -hmm. assumptions. And I'm up for this one. They say, uh, you know, uh, you're very lucky. And I'm like, oh. What was that one? What did you say? Kids are so expensive. Uh, like you're very like they, they tell you you're very very lucky kids are so expensive and stressful uh, yeah. or you know you don't want you don't want to have this you don't want to have like three mm-hmm. kids out you don't want to be shouting every day like how do you yeah. know i don't want to be shouting every yeah. day how do you know i don't want kids what if my kids are expensive do you know how how much my fertility treatment is costing exactly me? do you have any idea how much i've spent spent so trying to have a baby yeah you want to Exactly. You won't be able to wrap your head around the figure if I start mentioning it. So don't tell me, mm-hmm. oh, you know, kids are so expensive. What do you even mean kids by kids are so expensive? I know that. I'm trying to have of a course. kid. I'm yeah. spending millions of naira to have a kid. I know, I know, I know that. Yeah. I'm yeah. stressful. Like, really, would you, would, you, would you swap out your kid? Would you give out your kid? Because exactly. kids are expensive and stressful. Yeah. So why are you not telling me, you know, you are not missing out on anything? Please don't. Yeah. It's not helpful. Yes, it's that's not helpful. Let's not say that. Exactly. 
Mm-hmm. And then, of course, when you mentioned that whole thing about uh, the cost of trying to make a baby and fertility treatments, I, I get the same mm-hmm. as well when people say, uh, you know, I don't believe in fertility treatments, like IVF is playing God. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. That's very easy for you to say, right? Isn't it, right? You know, so if I access uh, medical treatment for something, a condition I'm dealing with, that's playing God. But of course, if you have malaria or typhoid, you know, you're going to go to the clinic and they're going to treat you, but that's okay. That's not, that's not, exactly. That's not playing God. That's not playing God. Leave it to faith, be yeah. in your home and you know, just uh, just pray to God that some sort of miracle is going to happen. So why is yeah. it so different? What is so di- what is nothing so is different? different People need to thing. understand that. Exactly. God gave the to get help. Yeah, God gave the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding for medical practitioners to be able to, you know, offer the services for people dealing with different exactly. issues exactly. there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and the reality is that even with fertility treatments there's absolutely no guarantees so even with those treatments there's no it doesn't mean it's going to work right so there is exactly. a huge god factor in every single fertility treatment god it's still needs to put the final blessings same. on it exactly for you to actually work so i think people need to understand that you know and again just you know, if you, if you just don't say that to people, just just don't. Don't, don't, mm-hmm. don't see. You know, it's always easy for you to like sit up, sit on your high horse and say, you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm in your kind of situation, I won't do that. I won't do this. I won't do that. I won't mm-hmm. play God. But it, it does not work like that. It, no, it doesn't. It's a medical. It's it's a medical condition that you can get treatment for. It's not. It's not a big yeah. deal. It's not playing God or something. It's not. Mm-hmm. You're just doing what you need to do. Yeah, exactly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. And this one where they say, you know, to people with secondary infertility, where they uh, tell them, you know, when are you going to give your ch- your child a your child, child, your a child sibling. A sibling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your child a sibling rather. When are you yeah. going to you know like yeah. Please, it is none of your business. It, it yeah. is no absolutely none of your business. If you are not the father or the mother, you, mm-hmm. you have no right to ask that kind of question. I don't care if the child is 11 year old or 12 year old or yeah. zero year old or one year old. Just keep it to yourself. No matter how how badly you want them to give their child a sibling, you can't want it as bad as they want it. Yeah. And all right, if they, what if they want only just one child? It's how exactly. is it your business? How is it? Mm-hmm. How is it your business? Why would you have to tell them? You know, you have to give up or give him someone to play with. Yeah, really? I think that's a Nigerian thing. I'm not sure if it's. A, I think it is a Nigerian because you know, it's like they come to your wedding and say to you, mm-hmm. uh, "In nine months' time, we're coming to celebrate." And then, of course, I yeah, did, it, that didn't really necessarily that happen in my case. Mm-hmm. But you know, but I know other friends that that ha- they, then they have a baby and it's like, "Oh, when are you gonna have the second? You gotta do it quickly." And then you know, the rushing of, "Oh, you have just two girls, or you gotta make sure you have the boy." You know, so it's like there's always constantly something yeah. that they need from you right it's like <laughs> yeah, your womb. yeah like okay telling yeah. You what, next what do you yeah what next do you need what? to be doing it's like enough already right just focus mm-hmm. on your own life your own home whatever it is and just let other people be exactly and right? just let them live their life you don't know you have no idea what they are going through you don't know exactly. whether you know they are crying mm-hmm. at night and wishing and hoping and praying and doing everything within their power to and mm-hmm. sure they have another child you don't know you have no idea maybe yeah. they just had a failed fertility treatment you don't know you yeah. can't say you know we don't tattoo it on our forehead oh i of just course, had a right? before, you can... I just had a how you are. extend me some compassion you know empathize with me <laughs> just generally assume that you know just it's none of my business as much as possible yeah. i know it's out of this people's business Mm-hmm. And even if I want my nose to be in their business, it has to be you know, in a nice, non-intrusive manner. Yes. Mm-hmm. For sure. And then I love the ones that are like, maybe this is the, uh, maybe this is, maybe this is like the universe's way of, uh, of telling you not to have kids. Like he- everything ha- happens yep. for a reason. And you're like, oh, really? And oh, how can you figure that out? You know what I mean? Like, oh, how yep. have you? <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> How do you figure that out? Because <laughs> it's taking a little longer. It right. means, yeah, it's like, uh, again, I'm sure there's some kind of twisted, in some kind of twisted way, this is supposed to be encouraging, but it's definitely not. Like, it's just not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not healthy. It's not nice. It doesn't make you look good. It just hurts. I, she, she just not say it. Okay. Exactly. Just don't say it because mm -hmm. let's say, let's say maybe you're the one going through in fertility or maybe you're the one going through maybe like a child loss or something. And then I come up to you and tell you, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. How would you oh. feel? How would you feel if I tell you that? How would you yeah. feel if I tell you that the reason why you don't have a child or the reason why your child is dead is because, you know, there's some grand plan somewhere. Yeah. How would you, at that point, how would you feel? So it's not the time. Just don't say it. So exactly, it's not the time. It's not the time to say that kind of a thing. It's not the time. Mm -hmm. It's not the time at all. Yeah. Then uh, there's this, then there's this one too where, well, I think, I don't know whether it's a Nigerian thing where, you know, people gossip about your infertility treatment. Uh, yeah. Or maybe they think they have a right to your story or a right to your gist so that they can, they, they believe that for them to extend an, a hand of empathy to you, you have to tell them what you're going through. You have to break it down to them. They, you have to, you know, gist them. You, know, you have to tell to them it. how you, yeah. you're mm -hmm. exactly, you're almost, you know, you are so unhappy. You have to tell them how, you know, you have to, project that unhappiness and then they'll be like okay true true okay she really yeah. really deserves us to, uh, she really deserves you, look to look, you need to act and look happens. really sad yeah exactly no, you act and look really mm -hmm. sad. You know, if, if your friend chooses to tell if you ask about if you ask your friend you know what what's up and she tells you, you know talk not or something just keep it moving and you know yeah. if she wants to talk to you she'll talk to you if if, if if you are that close or if you are that, I don't know, I don't want to use the word valuable to her or, you know, if you are that... If you're close enough, know, yeah. If, you, if, if she wants feels, to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly, close enough, that is the word. If the person feels close enough to you, you don't have to guilt trip and tell her, you know, oh, the other time I told you about my own stuff. Like, it does not work like that. The fact that you told me about your own stuff does not mean I have to tell you about my own yeah. stuff. It does not work like that. And just, just, just be there for her. Don't be angry that oh, she's not talking to me. She's not talking to. Me. Maybe she's not ready. Maybe she's not ready to deal with it. Maybe she's not ready to tell anyone. Maybe she's processing it. You know, you don't know. Just, and it's not, it's not a gist. Maybe when she tells you something, and then you go to your next one and say, oh, you know, uh, like guess what happened to I don't know whoever. I like, guess, mm -hmm. guess what happened to her. This, it is not a gist. If she tells you something, it's supposed to be confidential. You know. Yeah. Don't spread it around. Don't don't do that. It's not it's not a nice yeah. thing to do. Don't do that. Exactly. Don't. Do that don't. And if your friend tells you that she's tired, please don't say you don't know what tired is until you have children. Let's not do that. You know, someone can be tired without Let's children. <laughs> you know, you that. can be tired. <laughs> you don't need kids so to be to tired to know what tired is. You know, yeah, like you just, it's, it's not. Tired. It's, it's yeah. not right. It's not Let's it's not, not right and they will tell you you know uh maybe okay you will repeat that after having to you know uh shout at at your kids or something like that it doesn't work like if i'm tired i'm tired if i'm not tired i'm not tired i don't care whether you have 50 kids with you don't tell yeah. me don't tell me you are tired i understand i am tired it's too different yeah. like there's no need to compare our mm. tiredness it's not a competition no it's not a competition you don't need to compare it you know you're tired and tired we both have right to be tired if you have kids you'll be more tired no no mm. oh you know if you have kids you will understand if you have kids oh yeah kids. those ones only a mother will understand yeah. this it's like only a mother will what understand. don't say that to someone that's not a mom yet like keep that statement to your friends when you're hanging out with all the friends that all mothers say that to them but don't hang around uh, someone that is not mom no. yet and then say only a mom will um, understand like what's the point of that statement like there's no what's point. that supposed there's to no do point. you know it's really obviously like you know it's going to be hurtful and you know that mm -hmm. you know so there's just, just you no know, you know so why are you just trying so hard to be so hot yeah you know, like, you know? and just it's like, mindful. it's like one thing someone said the other day, you know, she tried, she went to a friend's house that mm -hmm. just had a baby and the friend wanted to hand over the baby to her. So they're uh. trying to conceive a uh, mother. And, you know, our friends are like, you know, she probably might not know how to carry the baby oh, properly. Yeah. She's never had, mm -hmm. you know, like, and then I felt so bad because 
why would you tell someone that? Why would you even yeah. say something like that? Why would you like, I don't know, carrying a baby is no rocket science. You, yeah. you don't have to be that helpful. You don't. And is it like some special skill? Like give me a break, you know what I mean? Like if you don't hold the health properly, someone will show you how to. It's not a big deal. You know, it's not like you're like exactly, a specialist exactly. in it. Just, you know, not like, hold, it pro- hold the baby properly, you know? Adjust or something. Just yeah. don't tell her, oh, you know, because you don't have kids, you can't do it. Please don't. Please don't. Yeah. Please don't say that. Again, oh, I know um, some people are going to mm-hmm. say they're, tr- they're always trying to be nice, you know. That wasn't the intention. Yes, we know that. But, again, the point of this session is to educate people Let so they you know, know what to not say. And then we'll talk about the yeah. things you can't say or how to support. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. so you're going to say something? You said something else? Yeah, then I wanted to talk about uh, this this one where they tell you, you know, just relax or just relax and hang uh, your legs. Or just uh, relax oh, yeah, those ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just relax. Like, I know one person, as soon as she just calmed down, went on vacation, she came back, she was pregnant. Yeah, of course, yes, that can happen. But it doesn't mean that's a solution. Like, that's not a treatment. It's not a treatment it's option. Not, just go on vacation, not, like, not, you know, go somewhere and come back and you'll be pregnant. That's not, you know, just, it's not. Before you come back, exactly, you'll be pregnant. Let's not say Let's that. go on vacation and before you come back, you'll be pregnant. Oh, really? The thousands of naira, millions of naira I've spent, I did exactly. not know that was why I did it, just to go on vacation and automatically yes. something in the hair will get me pregnant. Yes, and the issue with trying to relax, relax, yeah, the issue with telling you to relax is that it just actually makes it feel like you're the one preventing yourself from getting pregnant. That the fact that you have not relaxed is the reason why you're not pregnant. And that's not really true. Yeah, because in reality, someone that is trying to conceive is already stressed out. And that stress, so the in fact that they're, they're having issues, that infertility causes stress. So you can't then say, just relax and it will happen. Like someone can just like lift away that whole mm-hmm. pain and just say, okay, you know, I'm going to put you on the shelf right now. So I can get pregnant yeah. and then I'll pick you up later. And then when I'm done, I'll yeah. work. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> it doesn't actually work that way. So, And um, for people with uh, conditions like maybe block tubes or something, just relax, uh, don't help. Exactly. Don't help. Some people don't even have tubes. Uh, there are people with actual, tubes. actual medical conditions. Yeah. So just relax. Not, like not if, not if you don't have any tubes, no matter how, many t- like how long you relax, it's not going to... You know, you can get pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, so let's not let's not do that, right? So, mm-hmm, yeah. you just don't know what the condition is. Some people actually have a medical condition where the person is actually born without a womb. So when you say relax, it's not, it's just not gonna happen, right? Exactly. They might need a surrogate. Happen, right? They might need a surrogate. Mm-hmm. So relaxing is not gonna solve that, and they might be trying to raise the money to get a surrogate. And it doesn't, it's not very cheap. It's quite expensive. It's not, so it's not, it's people are not, not saying something. It doesn't mean they're not trying. Exactly. Just understand exactly that. This, I need to understand this. Let me, pick, let me pick it back on what you said. Uh, the fact that it looks like maybe they are not trying does not mean they are not trying. Mm-hmm. The fact that you think, oh, maybe oh, she's attending parties or maybe, oh, oh yeah. she's not crying every day or maybe, mm-hmm. oh, I don't know, whatever, um, whatever it is you saw does not mean they are not trying. They might act, like you said, they might actually be actively raising money for something. Yeah. They might just be coming off a uh, treatment. They might, you no, know, exactly. there are many things that can, that could have happened. So, yeah. I, I, don't I, I, say, oh. mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that's when I say something like, oh, you're, you're, still, you're still doing partying. You're still partying. Mm-hmm. You might, you're not taking this seriously enough. You know what I mean? Like, you're still going out and hanging out. You're still... You're still, like, you know, in Nigeria, you're still buying that show, being yeah, like, you're not serious. It's like, well, what do you want me to do? You want me to sit at home and cry all day? That will make yeah, you understand that I'm really, day. really serious. <laughs> that will yeah, really show really, you. You really want that baby. You, yeah, exactly, to really show you. <laughs> like, but I want that baby badly, 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 badly. Oh, wow. There's no like that. As I, the point is, I still understand where people are coming from sometimes, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I understand that you are trying to, I don't know, say something. You are trying to be helpful. You are trying to, yeah. you know, like, just show some kind of support or you know, just show some kind of uh, care. Or mm-hmm. something, but sometimes what you think and what you say they are two different things, you know. Yeah. If you are trying, they are just two different things. You have to like weigh your words carefully, you know, when, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to 
things like this. You just don't blot out everything that comes to your mind, shall yeah. you? Just don't, you know, just some of these things that you think, oh, I'm just trying to be helpful, are actually not helpful. And yeah. we get it, but please just don't. Yes. Just don't say these things. Yeah, so I think we've said quite a few things now of things yeah. you shouldn't say, you know? So now let's move on to the things that you can say. How can you support us? Yeah. If you meet me, or if you meet Shia, and you're like, hey, you guys are trying to conceive, how can we support you? What are the things we can say to you? So we're going to move on to that now. And, yeah. you know, I do have a lot of supportive friends. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, again, I always say, if you don't know what to say, I'm sorry you're going through this. It's perfect. It's just... It's, it's the best. You know, yeah. It's it acknowledges, short, yeah. the point. Yeah. No room for misunderstanding. Exactly. No I'm sorry. Yeah. Nothing. You know, it's, to the it's, point. it's there. It, it gets to the point. You say that, I'm sorry you're dealing with this. You know, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. It's as simple as that. But... The person understands you, you've you've gone yeah. you've done what you need to do if that's the if that's the if that's the only thing you do that's good enough mm-hmm. that's right? exactly that's good enough yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's good enough. it's short it's to the point it communicates whatever it is you're not even saying exactly. you know so it's yeah perfect it's, mm-hmm. it's perfect and then i always say to my friends you know i mean you do have quite a few friends so, Offer to, to go out with me. Offer to go out on lunch. Have go for tea. I'm, I love tea. People know that. If you know me well enough, you know mm-hmm. <laughs> you take me out for tea. It's perfect. You know, take me out. <laughs> I love my tea. <laughs> you know, so take me out for tea. Take me out for a girls' night out. Something that takes my mind off, you know, the current yeah. situation. Right? It just helps me to think about other things apart from what's constantly consuming my mind. So mm-hmm. that's something that you can do to show support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, um, I think, uh, that mm-hmm. thing, yeah, I think um, another thing you can actually do is, you know, just, you know, uh, try to be an uh, exercise body for them. Yeah. You know? Sometimes they need to, you know, be more active, maybe lose some weight even. Exactly. You know, yeah. just they are moving towards that healthy lifestyle for their baby or you know, so you can just offer to be an exercise body, offer to That's walk perfect. with them, offer to go to the gym with them, offer to, you know, just offer, 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 and, you know, just encourage them along their journey. Just be there for them. Yeah. And you, know, you can just ask, you can also just ask them, you know, if you know they are doing, uh, if you know they are undergoing any kind of, uh, you know, fertility treatment, maybe yeah. IVF or something, you know, you can just ask, how is it going, you know? How is exactly. it going? Yeah. Okay, okay, are you doing fine? Are you holding up? Do you need anything? You know, and if they, if they tell you, okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. I just, you know, it's okay. Like, it's okay. They might not be okay, but it's not in your place to like keep yeah. bribing them. And, you know, it's not just accept or you can you can show up in other ways, you know, but just accept the fact that, okay, maybe they are okay. Maybe they don't want to talk about it yet. You know, just... Be there, yeah. be there. That's it. Just be yeah. let them know you are there for them. Just let yeah, them and even with that, the fertility treatment. Because sometimes when people are doing that, and if they've already told your body that they're having fertility treatment, and yeah. you're trying to support them, you could also ask them, "Do you do you want me to come with you to an appointment? Do you need someone to come with you?" They might not need it, but they might. It might be great to have yeah. someone else they listen might. or someone else, you know, you know because during the fertility treatment, sometimes they teach you how to give yourself injections. So if someone is going for that kind of appointment, they might say, Hey, it'd be great for you to have another girlfriend with you. The person might watch how the injections mm-hmm. have been given. Maybe the next time you're at home, they can help you with they the injections. Out. Yeah. They can help you yeah. out. So if someone has, is, has confided in you about that, then that's something you can also ask if they need it. They might not need it, but if they do, then it might be nice. Right. Exactly. To to be nice, just to be there for them. You know, just mm-hmm. to be there for them. And you I always say as well. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I just want to say that you know, just acknowledge that what they are doing is brave. You exactly. know, just it acknowledge that fact. How brave they are. You know, just mm. it it takes some level of courage and oh, it does. You know, to 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 be able to do this. <laughs> be <able> to, to, <laughs> <laughs> it's made over and over and over again with 
No I, idea whether or not I'm going to have a baby, whether yeah. or not going to be adult. It's pregnancy. like you're gambling money away every time. You know, you're just like, yeah, every I'm going to put this in there and I'm going to hope it comes back with something. Yeah. And you have no clue. Oh, you know, and I you remember how I used to look at injections. I was never afraid of injections, but I just, you know, I just thought, wow, nurses are so cool for them to have to be able to do mm -hmm. this. But now, after all this treatment, I... I just actually don't think anyone can give it to me better than I can. I almost want to ask the nurse, yo, I can do that for myself, right? I, can do I know exactly that. what I, I need to do. I've done it. <laughs> I know exactly what it needs I've to go. Done no yeah. time. To yeah. Exactly what to do. Yeah, I just, do get, just let me do it. Yeah. So it's amazing mm -hmm. how, how what this treatment do to you, right? You just become so uh, enlightened in mm -hmm. different areas. It's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, another thing I say to people is that, okay, so sometimes, of course, I have a lot of friends that have kids, you know, mo lots of kids. And yep. sometimes yep. they have birthday parties. I have a, actually nothing wrong with me going to birthday parties um, or baby yep. showers or whatever the case may be. But sometimes I'm not in the mood. Yep. And I need my friends to understand that. You know, it doesn't mean I'm not happy for you. But exactly. For example, am I just not? Am I be having a hard day that time? Am I just have gone through a cycle that failed? Am um, I have just you know you just don't understand what I'm dealing with? So if I say to you, mm -hmm. uh, I plan to come to the party, and then you know close to the time I say I can't come, I need you to understand exactly. that it has nothing to do with you. It's just I'm probably just not in the place mm -hmm. on the right mind to come there, yeah, and you should I'm understand that. Exactly, so if I right exactly. right mind, yeah, and if I say no to a baby shower, it doesn't mean I'm not happy you just had a baby. It's just, exactly. oh, sorry, like, or you're pregnant. I'm, super, super, super I'm just happy not for you, like, in the place to come. No, I'm not, I'm uh, right? exactly, I'm not I don't want people, I don't want to come to that showers and then sometimes people start saying to me, oh, you're next, you're next, you're next. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. And I know that's great. And amen. But please don't focus the attention oh, on me. Uh, no, I want to tell you, like, <laughs> You are passing, you know, the, the most mundane of things. Like, let's say you are passing a cup to the other person. They're like, oh, don't worry. This time next year, we'll be passing a cup to your baby shower. I'm like, what? what are we even talking about? Yeah, like, like can you just let me be? Like, let me just hide me here. Hide, exactly. go unnoticed. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I don't want to be, like, I don't want you to be praying for me every two, two seconds. I don't want everything to revolve around me. We are here to celebrate my friend, you know? Just yeah. keep the attention on and, her. And, and there's nothing wrong with praying for me. Yeah, you know what I mean? You want to sit in your house and pray for me, that's yeah. great. But just don't do that yeah. with me every time you see me. Don't say every to time. me, hey, let's pray for you. Oh, this time is you next. No, no, no. Do that at home. You know, remind God on my behalf at home. That's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful, but you know, there's some kind of like I don't know, like I really, really appreciate it when someone tells me, Oh, you know, Shaya, I'm praying for you, you know, I'm yeah. really, really putting you in my prayers. I'm like, Thank you, you know, thank yes. you. Like, how thoughtful, yeah, how thoughtful, you know, like, thank mm. you so much for thinking about me. But not like, like every time, every time, every time, it's in me. <laughs> or everything I do, you find a way to link it back to my yeah, to so like that one issue you're dealing with. That one issue, I got more than that. <laughs> exactly. So if I say yeah, no, I can't fine. come to the party. Please be understanding. It's nothing to do. It's nothing yeah, against it's you. Nothing, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for your children's easy. party. I'm happy you're pregnant. I'm happy you just had a baby. But sometimes I just can't be there a little bit right too now. Much exactly. Yeah, a little bit and that's too much okay. From Mm -hmm. Tomorrow yeah. I can come to another party, but just not today. I'm exactly not just today. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the right frame of mind. You know, yeah. you have to like be able to. You have to. I have to protect myself. My mental exactly. health. Too. I have to That's put true. myself first. Some time. You know? mm -hmm. What else and, would you like to uh, do for you, Shia? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what else. Are, what else have you noted are, down? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like just rack my brain and see. I just, I just, I basically for me, I just want to know you are there. Like okay. I don't, I really don't expect you to move mountains for me or something like that. But mm -hmm. and I just want you to, I just want to know that I can talk to you. Like I don't pressure me for whatever it is. I don't know, gist or whatever. I uh -huh. just want you to know you are there for... I just want to know rather that you are there for me. That You know, even even if we are not talking every day or something, I just want you to know that you, some, you will give me some sort of support 
and you know you would understand what I'm understand what I'm going to you empathize with me you understand that this is hard you know you won't just fling meaningful comment at me and you also protect me from other people <laughs> like, yeah it's not like they will tell you oh, that your friend you know she, she's not pregnant yet and then you two you come and tell me or oh, someone said come on really yeah you can keep some Every of that you can still bring that some of that someone said, information said, yeah you don't need to exactly, bring it all back yeah. Yeah. you can fit that exactly you don't Every time, every time, no, 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 mm-hmm. no. Yeah. That is, and when you mentioned earlier like about that, secondary infertility, so when you mentioned earlier about secondary infertility, I think that as well, if, for example, that person is trying to have fertility treatment and they have an older kid at home, you as a friend could also offer to um, watch the kids at home while they go for because it might be hard to bring like all the kids to like clinics and they might be a little bit, yeah, they might be a little bit, uh, you know, not really relaxed in a place like that. So mm-hmm. if you have a friend that helps to watch them while you're going for the uh, appointments, that can be really helpful. Okay. And also for male, I think it's probably very hard for male um, men when they're dealing with infertility. So if you do have a friend that's dealing with that, then you know, always offer uh, maybe an extra, just reach out, just let them know you're available because men find it hard to to uh sometimes anyways they find it hard to talk to other people oh, about it yeah. and, uh, you know they sometimes bottle up their emotions yeah so if uh, there's any way you can yeah. reach out to them to uh, just let them know that you're there to support yeah, them i think this is like you can. important sometimes i think men are especially in a society where they believe you know men cannot be the problem or something exactly, they are often yeah. uh, overlooked like mm-hmm. people you know you have oh he's a man he can you can chest any problem he has he can yeah. any problem he has yeah you know it doesn't you if you have a male friend even if you don't know whether he's the one going through it but he's a male friend to you, you know just reach out and you know just offer to be there offer to listen to them offer yeah. to you know do activities they want to just just offer 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 that is what you can do basically it's up to them to accept your offer but it's yeah. always good when someone offers you, you know you know okay they are at least they are offering at least, at least they're, they're there at least they're thinking of you and also you can also send your friend random gifts you know just yeah random things just hello that's true i like anything. gifts nice flowers exactly chocolates nice are good flowers. Something that reminds you of them. Yes. And something that will just bring a smile to their face. Yeah. You know, they might even be having a terrible day. And, you know, you have some flowers delivered to them. Like, wow, thank you. Yeah. you know, and then on Mother's Day and Father's Day, call them. Say hello. Just they yep. know you call them, right? Because sometimes those days are days you want to hide. You want to hide under your, yeah. under your duvet at home. I'm pretend. You want to go out. Just you just, to go just like, I don't want to. Yeah. But if someone calls you just to say hello, how are you today? You know, they, they mm-hmm. know. You don't have to say anything. The person yeah. knows, yeah. understands know. that you thought they about know. them and you called. Yep. And that's yep. really amazing. So yeah, you amazing. can reach out they to your friends that. that way as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I think we <laughs> said quite a few things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are still a lot to go. And oh, let me just chip this in lastly. Um, mm-hmm. that- yeah, you might have, let's say, I don't know, maybe four, maybe three infert- uh, friends that are going through infertility. They are all not the same, you know. Oh, they yeah. might be going through infertility, but they might not be going through the same thing, you know. Mm-hmm. There are different shades of infertility. They are different. Yeah. And moreover, your friends are like totally different people, you know. They each have the way they want to do their thing. They each have the way they respond to, they respond to whatever it is. You are offering, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't just say, oh, because uh, this person is ready to, maybe, let's say, uh, okay, Ola is ready to tell me about our problem. Why is Shaya doing like that? Why is Shaya not opening up True. to me? Oh, yeah. treat, treat each person as their own person. Mm-hmm. Each individual as their own person. They are different, different people. Does not, they are not homogeneous, like, oh, yeah. they all have the same problem or something. No, just treat them with. I think that's it. True. It. Yeah. We have, that's, thank you, Shia. We have talked about mm-hmm. so many things today. I think our listeners yeah. listen to this yeah. episode, definitely be really educated now. Friends and family <laughs> that want to support us know the things yeah. not to say to us. And they also know the things they yeah. can say, the things that really mm-hmm. make us feel supported. They know that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. hopefully we can have more people 
being mindful of the things they say mm-hmm. and helping us. And we know, we know that people are trying to help. We know they don't mean no harm. We know, we but know. But it's important we that we try to say the right things and try to be careful not to be hurtful when, we're, when we not actually to mean to support. Harm. Yes, yeah. when we not actually to mean to support. Mm-hmm. So that's been pretty amazing. Thank you, Shia for joining us today. Thank you. Ella. It was really great having you on the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, Thank and for you. taking time to discuss all this <laughs> things to say and things not to say with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So remember, Thank if you, you want to connect me. with Shia, she's very active on Instagram. You know, she's always out there uh, sending words of encouragement to women trying to conceive, sharing testimonies of other women that now have... Um, their baby or babies. Yeah. So um, for sure, do follow on Instagram at Ninja Fertility Hub. And she, you can also sign up on her page for our newsletter where she sends out very useful information out on a monthly basis. So her details will also be in the show notes. And we look forward to having Shio again in the near future to discuss other issues that we'd like to discuss Virtually related things. <laughs> so thank you, Shaya. Thank you, Ola. Thank, thank you so you much. For it was a pleasure. Me. Yes. Same here. Looking forward Bye. to having you again. Bye for now. Thanks for joining us this week on the Fertility Conversations podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, please give us a five-star rating and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Fertility Conversations. If there are any topics you would like to have discussed, please send an email to fertilityconversations at gmail.com. Be sure to tune in next week for our next episode. Thank you again for listening. Take care of yourself and do stay hopeful.